everyone. John Chow here from johnchow.com. And welcome to Driving with John Chow. After a torrential rainstorm yesterday, it's nice and sunny. This is what Southern California is all about. Not a cloud in the sky right now. Beautiful. This is why I moved down here. <laughs> anyway, uh, a while back, I was talking to a fellow video Videographer, I suppose, a videographer, and uh, we were talking about producing videos and how what we do, how we the equipment we use, that kind of stuff, editing that, and and all that, all that good stuff that you may find boring or you may find interesting. I don't know, but anyway, we we came along the discussion of production, and he absolutely refused to believe that I'm able to produce my videos in the amount of time that I do. Uh, I told him that basically I can get this video from production to editing, upload to YouTube in less than one hour. And he said that is simply not possible. He's seen some of my videos. He said, you must spend hours on just editing alone and, and you know, filming, editing, all that kind of stuff. You must spend at least five, six hours to do this kind of stuff. And I go, uh, no, not even close. And that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about video production and how you can be more efficient producing your video. Uh, I, I feel that a lot of people do not get into videos because they think like like the guy I was talking to. It takes a long time to produce these videos and they, I guess they say it's not worth it because it's too long to, to, ed, to film it, to edit it, and it's like a full-time job. And like I said, it's really true. This video that I'm filming right now will be film as you see it which will be I guess I might have here like five to eight minutes so five to eight minutes to produce and then it will edit to edit it'll take me like 10 fit no it's like 10 minutes not even that not even 10 minutes and to be uploaded to YouTube within a couple of minutes right so less than 20 minutes this video will be produced and a lot of people have problem believing in that because you know well, for whatever reason because I I'm gonna tell you why the process of making this video is basically me talking. After I'm done, I'm gonna import this into my Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna add my intro. You see the driving with John Chow intro that you see in the beginning of the video. And after I say, thank you very much. See you guys next time. You get to the outro, I'll add the outro. And that's basically it. Then I just click publish. That's basically it. And the reason I'm able to do it so fast is because I don't bother with a lot of stuff that a lot of these videographers or vloggers do and that is you know they're, they're trying to find the music they're trying to find great b-rolls and then they're doing all of these cuts to cut out all their errors the ums and whatever uh, i believe that the most important part of a video is your story and being able to get your message across if you can concentrate just on that forget about the fancy b-rolls the fancy music the sound effects forget about all that stuff your most important duty in your video is your story and your message if you can get that across all this other stuff is secondary so that's basically it and, be, and I really think it's actually more authentic that way because because what you're seeing right now is what you're getting there is no editing here I don't edit out my mistakes I mean so every um ah uh, well I don't know you know it shows up all that stuff shows up and I really think when it comes into the marketing I really think being more authentic is way way better than having a super produced professional quality video like professional video because that looks when it's too professional it looks like a slick sales piece this looks like hey I'm just talking to you right now but it's authentic it is real you see my mistake I'm yeah I mean yeah, basically, like, see, you're seeing my mistake. <laughs> but this gets the message across. This uh, re is more relatable. It's more relatable. So, uh, but the advantage of doing it this way is that the editing is so much easier. I mean, seriously, one take, one take. This video is just one take. I put it up there at the intro, at the outro, upload to YouTube, done. I mean, compare this to the a professional vlog or whatever, some guy like Casey Natstat. You see his video, all the B-rolls, all the fancy music and stuff, and all the major cuts. I can see why he can spend several hours just editing alone. I can, I can, I can see that. But 
you don't have to be like that. You don't have to spend crazy amounts of time, especially when you're trying to put up content on a daily basis. I mean, daily basis, you gotta do it quick. You gotta be efficient. That means just do it one take. You know, just put the put the, your iPhone in front of you, make a video, doesn't matter about mistake, upload to YouTube, and just produce it. Right? So uh, that's a piece. That, that's my piece of advice. That's my piece of advice for you. Uh, you don't need to spend. Doesn't have to be perfect. You don't need to spend a great amount of time on this. I mean, the only thing I do is, like I said, make sure your story, the most important thing, your story, and your message. And the only thing I really do is uh, because I do driving videos, I make sure my audio. I should make sure my audio is dead on because you know as you're driving, it's a noisy car. There's wind noise, there's whatever. So I try to minimize that. And you know, this is where my Zoom H1 comes in. It allows me to create great audio. Great audio, great audio, video, great video becomes great audio. So I just make sure I have great audio and that's the only thing. And other than that, my message and my story are the most important thing. Everything else is secondary. So if you want to, you can spend five hours editing your video, getting great sound, whatever, but it only adds about eh, maybe this much to the experience. Whereas your story and your message is the main thing. All right. So hope that helps you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like that message. Uh, please like and share my video. First time, uh, if you're a first time viewer, hey, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. And at the same time, hit the notification bell. All right. See you guys next time.